Engineers Without Borders is a humanitarian organization that envisions a world in which all communities have the capacity to meet their basic human needs. By forming partnerships with communities around the world, EWB is able to carry out sustainable engineering projects that focus on addressing the major needs of the community. Whether you're interested in supporting education or interested in supporting uh, activities overseas in impoverished areas, engineers without borders did both. In 2007, students from the University of Massachusetts Amherst met Dr. Beta Hayes a leading member of the Children's Forest Program, aimed at teaching sustainability to the school children and teachers of Assis Brasil. With Vera's encouragement, the students started an Engineers Without Borders project in the Amazon and traveled to Assis Brasil later that year. While there, they learned that the community lacked access to clean water and sanitation. They're going to wash right next to where the where the water fountain is. But now he doesn't do that anymore. He drinks it over there. To address the first of these problems, the project team created a new spring box design where the spring box is submerged in the water table, greatly reducing potential contamination. A pump is attached to the top of the box to allow access to the water. On July 23, 2008, the travel team of three students and two professionals left New York City and flew to Sao Paulo, Brazil, with the goal of installing a prototype of the new spring box design. From Sao Paulo, they flew to Brasilia and then on to Rio Branco, the capital of the state of Acre. Upon arrival in the rainforest, the team held a workshop to teach community members how to construct the spring box and explained the reason behind the design. What, what we're trying to do is we're trying to basically take the, the same box that's here and uh, put it deeper into the ground with a cover and then cover it up with soil with just access through a pipe at the top. This way uh, we don't get uh, like the, uh, contaminants and, and bugs. The community members understood the design and were receptive of the changes. After the workshop, the digging began. It became clear that shovels would be of no use due to the density of the clay, so the majority of the digging was done by hand. A lot of hard work, it was hot work, it was muddy work, but just to have uh, you know, the, the U.S. students and the residents of the reserve working so closely to get a, a, a single goal achieved um, was just great. After many hours, the hole was finally deep enough. Rocks were spread on the bottom to serve as a filter, and the spring box was lowered in with the pump attached to the top. The hole was then filled in with soil on the side facing the hill to allow groundwater to enter the box, while clay was used on the other three faces. To further filter contaminants, the box was covered with clay on top, which was then allowed to harden. When the team returned to the site the next day, the sediment had cleared and clean water flowed out of the pump. 
Although just a prototype, the water system functioned properly and has now been in use for almost a year. For an Engineers Without Borders project to be successful, it must be sustainable. They estimated that about 2,000 people went through the area that we built the box last year. So we believe that this year the, the box served about 2,000 people some water. So that's, that's, that feels good. The system that was installed in the summer of 2008 was made entirely of native materials except for the hand pump. The next challenge for the project was clear. The team had to design a hand pump that could be constructed solely from materials available to the people living in the reserve. Research of hand pumps during the winter of 2008 resulted in the creation of a simple yet innovative design that can easily be constructed by the community. The design is composed of irrigation hose, PVC pipe, and two check valves made using rubber that the community members already produce. Once the spring box is lowered into the ground, irrigation hose is run out of the top of the box and away from the site. A plunger mechanism is attached to the end of the hose, which is mounted to a wooden post to keep it off the ground. <laughs> to access the water, community members need only to operate the plunger and water will be pulled up from the spring box. In addition to the research and design of the hand pump, the project has also prepared a combined health and sanitation assessment. The data the project will gain from this survey will provide a basis for addressing the next portion of the project to help the community improve its sanitation systems. The project would not be able to continue, however, without sufficient funding. This year's fundraising efforts were divided amongst a raffle for a plane ticket to anywhere in the Americas and the planning and procuring of donations for the second annual Brazil Night. that part of the forest isn't being burned down. And without those people in the forest taking care of it and um, protecting it, it'd be gone. And um, you know, they're on the front line. This summer, a team of four students and a professional engineer will travel to the reserve to conduct the health and sanitation assessment, distribute instructional pamphlets, and implement the new water pumping system. The goal of the project is, and always has been, to preserve a people's way of life, and in the process, protect the rainforest as well. <laughs>